in Gmokapai tool change demo. First let's switch on the machine and home all axis. You can see now the Z axis is being homed. We got the X and Y axis also zoomed, uh, it's, uh, homed. And that's it. So now we go just to uh, measure the high of the uh, of the block. So the block high. We have to move a little bit the machine so I can uh, I can measure it easily. Unfortunately, that is full speed on this machine. It's just a test machine. Uh, you have can see also at the same time the second movie which is a real movie uh, and this with the tone is only the uh, the screen it's okay let's measure the block high we first have to zero our measurement equipment just put it on zero it yeah. just measure the high so we, we got uh, 5172 so we go here on a block height 51.72 millimeters it's okay that's it so we need to find our, our x and y zero point so let's juggle to the position Say this is zero. Okay, that's a zero in X and Y. It's only for testing. Normally, I find an uh, on uh, an edge uh, finder. So this is our dimensions. So we go to outer mode. Uh, we load the program we want to run. That's our program. Just clearing the plot. And okay, go. So we see the machine found tool change. He will go to uh, the touch probe. First to the change position. So we are now on the change position. Get the message here to change the tool. We just uh, because the tool is already mounted. I just say OK. We see on the second the change when we change the tool. So we see first he go in the search velocity to the probe, and after he had the so search velocity, see he find the tool, and now he go with the probe velocity to probe the to real length. After he have finished. He will begin with a uh, program run. Um, unfortunately, I have to switch on the spindle manually. I'll just do it in a moment. And surely you will not uh, be able to hear me again because it's a very, very noisy uh, tool. So the spindle is running. It's not too, far, too long for the tool. Quite a little bit heavy for this tool, but never mind. We will now make a light cut only. You see it's only making a very very light cut on the surface. And 
Now it's going again to two trench position. Asking for a tool change. So let's just change the tool. And mount the next tool. You would see it's quite quite longer. It's a longer tool. And just confirm that we change the tool. Same procedure again. We go down search velocity to search for the tool prop. and again with the probe velocity so he knows the length okay we switch on again the spindle and here we go for the drilling And now you will see, making the very very light cut, that the tool has the same length. So we didn't need any reference tool or whatever else. We just make all the cutting we want without doing anything else. Set sets. Thank you for watching.